prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Interphase In interphase, the genetic material of a cell increases. Prophase During prophase, the chromatin condenses and becomes short and thick to form chromosomes. Each chromosome has two sister chromatids joined together at the centromere. The nucleolus disappears and the nuclear membrane starts to break down. The centrosomes, each with a pair of centrioles, move apart to the opposite poles forming a spindle between them. Metaphase During metaphase, microtubules of the spindle interact with chromosomes. This causes the chromosomes to move and align along the middle of the cell or the equatorial plate. Sister chromatids are held at the centromere, confirming the presence of protein structures called kinetochore at the surface. Anaphase During anaphase, the sister chromatids separate at the kinetochores and the daughter chromosomes, along with the divided centromere, move towards the opposite poles as the microtubule shortens. The poles of the spindle also move apart and help to separate the chromosomes. Telophase. During telophase, the daughter chromosomes arrive at the pole and the chromatin starts to decoil. Also, the nuclei reform along with nucleoli. This triggers the reformation of the nuclear membrane. Cytokinesis Cytokinesis is the partition of the cytoplasm. In animals, a cleavage furrow appears in the plasma membrane which deepens and divides the cytoplasm into two daughter cells, each containing a nucleus. In plants, new cell wall formation is triggered at the center of the cell by the formation of a cell plate. The cell plate grows outwards till it meets the existing wall resulting in two daughter cells.